Hello everyone. This is Don's Meditations and I thought I'd do a quick do a quick video on how to stay happy in a relationship. So I think communication is like number one for anything, you know, as far as staying happy in a relationship. You gotta be able to communicate your feelings to your partner. I think, you know, staying connected throughout the day is uh, a good thing to do to uh, stay connected in a relationship. You know, I don't have to take I don't take anything big, you know, just sending them a text saying, how was your day? Hope you're having a great day. How's your day going? Uh, little stuff like that, you know, just to stay connected to your partner, you know, throughout the day, you know, you stay connected to your partner and then let your partner know that you're you're thinking about them let them know that you know they're not forgotten throughout the day <coughs> let them know that you know that you took time to think about them so that's that's a way to uh, stay connected in a relationship That's a good way. And then if something's on your mind, you, you communicate to your partner. If something's bothering you, don't hold it in. You let them know. You know? And that's something I'm, that's something I'm working on as well, you know? I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself. And if something's on your mind, you cannot hold it in. You gotta let it, let your partner know how you're feeling. No matter what it is, you gotta let them know. <clears throat> you know, even if it's like, you see your partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend, talking to another man, you feel some type of way, you let them know that. You let them know, like, hey, it bothered me when I saw you over there talking to her. Or, you know, that bothered me when I saw you talking to that guy over there. You know, it's, it's, it's better to be honest than to, you know, walk around upset and then your partner don't know why you're upset. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? And you're like, well, nothing. I'm okay. Well, in actuality, you're not okay. There's something wrong. You let something bother you. So you have to let them know. You know, what's on your mind. You got to let them know what's on your mind. So yeah, communicate your feelings. And do things together. Enjoy time together. When you guys get together, enjoy the time. Talk about your day. See how see how she's doing. And vice versa. You know, enjoy enjoy time together. That's how you stay happy in a relationship. Do things, do fun things together. If you guys don't have things in common, things that you can share, that you enjoy, then maybe that's not the right relationship for you. Because you guys should have some type of similar interests. You guys should be able to have something you like to do. Whether it's working out together, going to the movies, going out to eat, going to concerts, going doing different things. You guys should be able to have some type of interest together that you enjoy doing. 
If not, it's, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to really enjoy each other's each other's company. So it's very important to share some some similar interests. It's good to be able to share things in common that you guys enjoy doing. If you like working out, but if she don't really like working out, I mean, that's okay. You don't have to necessarily, like, she don't, you guys don't have to necessarily want to work. You know, like, if you work, like to work out and she don't, or vice versa, I mean, it can still work as long as you guys have some type of common, common interests that you guys enjoy doing together. So if you have things that you enjoy doing together, then it, you know it'll you guys enjoy each other. But like I said, you got something on your mind, express it to her, no matter how big or small. If it's something you notice that she's doing, for example, with the phone, if you guys are together and she's constantly being on her phone. Express it to her. Let her say, hey, you know, it bothers me that you're always on your phone when we're out. Is there a reason why you're on your phone so much? And if she really cares about you and respects you, that shouldn't make her upset if you ask that question. She should be able to let you know. She should consider your feelings, consider your thoughts and feelings. And she should be able to answer you. And these are things I'm telling you because this is things I experience. So that's why I say this. If there's something on your mind, let her know. Let him know. You know? It goes both ways. So yeah. Well, I just thought I'd share my little thoughts about how to how to stay happy in a relationship. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to come with this, you know. I just thought I'd share that. I hope this helps someone, you know. But yeah, sh share the same interests. I mean, share things in common that you can enjoy together so you can have fun. That's how you stay happy, you know. Text, you, text her throughout the day. Text him throughout the day. Let him know that you're thinking about him. You know, it shouldn't be always the man to reach out to the woman. The woman should be able to reach out to the man, too. You know? It shouldn't be one-sided. Because, you know what, I'm going to say, when a person feels like it's just them reaching out all the time, it kind of makes them kind of... Uh, It kind of draws you, draw you away from that person because you feel you make it makes you feel like the other person not really into you, especially when it's just one-sided. So, all right. So, let's start. I share this uh, these little thoughts on how to stay happy in a relationship. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. And like always, peace, love. The positive vibrations.